This tutorial will show you the functions in the iTouch Stats Basketball stat keeping screen to help you start keeping stats as quickly as possible. The first thing that you will need to do is choose the direction that the home team is going. This will automatically change at the end of the half for you. You can also turn off the game clock by unchecking this box from here. To start or stop the clock, single tap on it. As you can see, the clock turns yellow while it is running and it is red when it is stopped. To change the clock time, just double tap on it and enter the new time. You can turn on or off the game clock or change the home team's basket at any time from the options menu. With the game clock turned off, you just need to tap on the button at the top of the scoreboard to advance to the next period. You can view a team's game or season stats just by double tapping on that team's score. You can also view a player's stats just by double tapping on that player. You'll first see the current game statistics, but you can also view the season statistics just by tapping on the season button. Depending upon what button is selected, the team or player shot chart can be viewed for the game or the season. The results for the shot chart can be filtered by made or missed shots and also by periods. Something I would like to point out here are the small icons next to the player. You'll see these boxes appear next to the player after they register that particular stat on the main stat keeping screen. Inputting stats can be done two ways. The first way is to select the player and then select the stat. The second way is to select the stat and then select the player. Notice the two icons that appeared next to the players. The red circle next to Aslan is showing now that he has one foul. The black box next to Chester shows that he has one block. The last play that was saved will be shown here. If the last play that was saved was a mistake, you can remove it by tapping on the trash can, or you can even shake the device. You would then just need to select Remove Last Play. Let's say we want to remove the foul that Aslan got that was not the last play saved. To remove this play, you would need to go into the game log. The fastest way to get there is double tapping on the last play saved box, but you can also get there from the options menu. From here you just need to swipe across the play that you'd like to remove and confirm it. Now when we go back you can see that the player no longer has a foul and the team's fouls now show zero as well. There are two different ways that you can track shots taken for each team. The default is to track the shot location for both teams. I'll demonstrate that now. First tap on the player and then select if it was a made or missed shot. For a free throw just tap on the free throw button. Otherwise, tap the location on the court where the shot was taken. The program will automatically determine if this was a two or three point shot based on where you select. Once you have the crosshair in the correct location, tap save. The second option is to not track shot locations. You can choose this in the options menu. Shot tracking can be turned off for each team independently. This gives you the ability to turn off all shot tracking or you can track the shot location for one team and not the other. With shot tracking turned off, you'll only need to select the shot type, if it was a two-pointer, three-pointer, or free throw. I'll go ahead and give Aslan a made two-point shot. This brings up the auto assist function. There are three auto functions to help speed things up while keeping stats. Each one of them can be turned off independently in the options menu. So with the auto assist function, after a made shot, you'd only need to tap on a player to register an assist. If no assist was made, you can just double tap on the box to close it. The auto rebound function comes up after a missed shot. Just tap on a player who got the rebound. The program will automatically determine if this was an offensive or defensive rebound based on who shot the ball. The last auto function is the auto turnover. If you record a steal for a player, it will then prompt you to select a player who turned the ball over. iTouch Stats Basketball gives you different display options for players while keeping stats. These can be changed from the Options menu. You can turn off or on player photos, show the home or away jerseys for either team. You can also choose to display the player's first or last name. There are two different ways for subbing players. The most common way is to tap the Sub button and then select the players you would like to sub out. You can sub out all five players at once if you like, but I will just sub out Willow and Sadie. This will list all of the players on the team, excluding the players being subbed out. From here, you could even add a new player to a team if you needed. 
Otherwise, just tap the players that you'd like to sub in. As you can see now, Sasha and Buster are now in the game. You can also use the All Home Team Players button or All Away Team Players button for subbing players. Using this option is helpful at the end of a period or a timeout where you may not know who is taken out of the game. This lets you quickly pick the players who are currently on the court and the app will automatically sub out the appropriate players. At any time during the game, you can view a detailed game report. This report will show both the team's players and team stats for the game, including the shot charts. New in version 2.05, this report can be printed directly to an AirPrint compatible printer. Otherwise, this is a PDF file so it can be easily shared via email just by tapping on the email button. This report can also include the individual player's shot charts as well as the play-by-play -play game log just by checking on the boxes below. You can easily update your friends, family, and team fans with the current game status on Twitter and Facebook just by tapping a button. A post or a tweet with the score will automatically be generated and posted for you. Thank you for watching this iTouch Stats Basketball tutorial.